Hi, I'm Marilyn Demartini with Yacht World, and we're here aboard the new Tierra 48 LS, luxury sport. Now, the very name Tierra conveys a royalty, and this is indeed one of the crown jewels of the Tierra range because they went from 34 to 60 in their luxury cruiser line and created the luxury sport line specifically for outboards. And as you can see, they went all the way here with the Mercury V12 600s, the counter rotating props, the great torque. These engines take this boat a top speed in and around 50 or so, but the cruising speed, the sweet spot is 38 to 40, and this boat can do that very comfortably. You'll see that they use the Plastex synthetic teak here for the swim platform, and also for their articulating terrace. So this gives you about another seven, six or seven feet of luxury space when you're at dock or you're out on a mooring or at anchor just to enjoy a little bit more of your tiara. You've got great lounge space here and we'll show you as we move forward how this backrest moves and how this whole seat turns around to change the whole configuration of the boat. So you can have a sun pad here or you can have more seating for entertainment as we move forward. So let's go do that now. This massive entertainment area has a lot of flexibility because as you'll see, there's a circular shape here in the floor. This entire seating mechanism turns around so that the seating can be closer to the table for dining. The seat backs can move forward to make that a full sun deck. You have the nice make fast shade here to keep the whole place shaded or pull it back if people want sun. But you've really got a nice entertainment area here. And as you can see from the terrace, it gives you a lot of flexibility in boarding, accessibility from the dock. You have additional accessibility here from your dive door. And people can really move freely around this space. You've got your Fusion and JL Audio sound system throughout. So it's really a wonderful place to say, come on board everybody and let's spend a wonderful day out on the water. There's a great little galley that I'd like to show you as we move forward towards the helm. Let's head that way. This whole galley is very unusual because it almost gives it a very enclosed space for anybody who's preparing food. Um, and it also provides a pull-down seat for anybody who really wants a close-up seat to watch the game because a TV retracts here from the ceiling. You've got lots of refrigeration here, an ice maker, storage, uh, trash receptacles. Everything is beautifully hidden behind this nice wooden cabinetry. So the galley here with a grill, a sink, and these windows that slide forward or back can really make this place enclosed if you have a weather situation or if you just want a little bit of privacy here. There's also an interesting feature as an Isinglass window drops down here, almost limousine-like, giving the captain some quiet time if he'd like it and breaking off the rest of the entertainment area from the helm. And we'll head there next. So with the push of a button, we enter the helm, which is really nicely laid out for a captain with a very wide bench seat here. These drop down into bolsters or seats. Another really nice feature for us shore people is this whole floor drops down and provides another whole level so that somebody my height can comfortably stand right on the floor and have great visibility here at the helm. You've got your Garmin screens, your Mercury instrumentation, bow thrusters, trim tabs. It's set up right now with three screens. And again, the Garmin Fusion sound system works really well. You've got speakers here as well as in both exterior areas. Another nice feature here for passengers is pull down footrests. And all of this area is in the synthetic teak. 
very nice feature here is some additional illumination with the tempered glass windows with the central manual hatch so you can just flip it up and get a little extra ventilation at the helm if you want natural air but there is plenty of air conditioning coming through the back of this seat and here at the helm. The cabin is very nicely laid out with a berth, a stand-up head and shower, and as you close this door manually, it still gives you some headroom for an additional twin bunk berth that is under the console here, under the, the helm. We have additional seating up at the bow, so let's go check there next. So here we sit in the lap of luxury. Whether you want a sunscreen that you can add or not, you've got your U-shaped seating here that wraps around, as well as a bench seat in front. This has a footrest that rises electrically with a push button, or this table can rise up and offer either a sun pad, a dining table, or flooring. On the port side, there are steps up to a raised deck, which can give you easy ingress and egress if you have a fixed dock, but the walk around gives you the easiest access to this very comfortable bow lounging area. Tierra has brought together all of their luxury amenities in the LS model, plus the performance of outboards. But I think Tiara really has their customer at heart who wants to get to where they're going in good time, but enjoy the ride. The Tiara 48 LS, luxury sport defined. Thanks for joining us here on Yacht World. We'll see you again soon.